Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Today we're going to be talking about the anime actor Vic... I can't say his surname, but I would like to think it's... Mignonga? Anyway, regarding him, his address, his allegations, that obviously he uh, uh, Fenimation have uh, fired him, and also about Jamie Marchi who is one of the people who, who has actually accused Vic of sexual assault, but it's come to light recently by Ghost Shell Zen on Twitter that Jamie Marchie has actually sexually assaulted her, or the him. We don't know which, if it's a male or a female, but they actually done, she actually done it when that person was a minor. So which could technically be classed that Jamie Marchie at the moment, if all this does come to fruition, that she could be classed as a paedophile. So we need, we're going to have a little chat about and have a little think about all this and see what's going to happen. We're going to start with Vic, obviously. So uh, Funimation, the big anime industry, it has been rocked this year with a big voice acting scandal. Obviously, sexual harassment allegations came against Vic. The veteran actor was ousted from several projects, and the Funimation actually notified this and their fans on Twitter, saying that they've got rid of him via a, an investigation. And obviously, the actor was released. So, Vic has taken to Twitter, and he has shared a lengthy letter where he apologised to fans and co-workers over the scandal. So, we're going to have a quick read of this here now. So, what it is... My desire has always been to show appreciation, warmth and acceptance to fans of my work. Being part of this community has given both my work and my life so much meaning. If anyone has been made uncomfortable by me, it's not for me to contradict them. It's impossible for me to discern another person's boundaries. I regret anything I have said or done out of ignorance that has put anyone outside of their comfort zone. I love my work dearly as well as the characters I've had the privilege to portray. But most satisfying of all has been the opportunity to share that love of this art with fans all around the world. I would never have met any of you without it. Meeting each of you has so enriched my life and I'm humbled to have received over a thousand encouraging messages in the last few weeks. Obviously he does go on then to say regarding his colleagues, which some of them are the ones who have actually come out and accused him. I have considered you good friends for so many years. We've shared countless wonderful experiences together and I have never meant to do anything to offend or hurt you. Until these last few weeks, I had no idea that any animosity ever existed. I've never had anything but respect for you and I so deeply regret any words or actions that made any one of you feel otherwise. In many respects, life is about course correction and growth, so many fans have written me over the years about very personal issues and struggles and I have always done my best to encourage and support them. The truth is that I am just as susceptible to struggles and difficulties as anyone else. I have identified areas in which I need to grow, and I am taking this time to recommit to God and seeking the help of a counsellor. I am committed to putting every effort into improving not only for myself, but for everyone I interact with. Each of you deserves nothing less. Finally, please be kind to one another. The very last thing I want for anyone to be hatefully targeted, especially not on my behalf. Right, so with that, one of the key, obviously, he's saying that he needs, uh, he's going to find God again, and he's going to take time out, speak with a counsellor, and hopefully he can come out a stronger person of all this. But obviously, in the background, he will be taking this to court, because obviously, he's lost his job, and people are accusing him of sexual assault, and he thinks he hasn't done it. Which is absolutely brilliant on him. Obviously, he's going the correct way about it. Now, the big issue with all of this is regarding, that I have, I knew myself, is regarding Jamie Marsh. Marshy, or whatever you want to call her. So, the biggest issue that I have with her is that, obviously, she came out on Twitter, and she was... Uh, she was going on regarding that she wants Vic's balls, she wants his dick, she wants, basically, she wants to do not nice things to him. You know? And Vic hasn't come out and said anything like that, but it's Jamie Marsh, who's come out, you know, yes, I want his head, 
I want his balls. I want him to feel an ounce of the pain he's caused others and then fucking choke on it. I want you to take his dick out of your ears so you can actually hear reality, but you know that's just me. And obviously people have uh, gone back to her and say, what about innocent until proven guilty? And she's like, well, that works in a court of law. Sometimes name and shame is the fastest way to the courtroom. And this is probably one of my favourite ones here, from Curator Rex. He replied to uh, Jamie Marsh, he's saying, I accuse you of grabbing my organ and sexually assaulting me in San Diego Comic Con, even though I repeatedly said no. Now you are guilty. Slander her. Do you get do you get it? That that's not how it works. Marshy Mark, I'm giving an example, this it has hasn't happened. Innocent until proven guilty. Two days went by and there was no reply to Curator Rex. So Curator Rex went back and said, No response? I thought so. Voice of Vegeta and Sunny State, my closest friends believe me. Does it make it valid? Is this person liable to lose their job without investigation and anything being filed? No. And obviously now she has come out and she has, uh, you know, she's literally going back and forth on Twitter with a lot of people. She's, she is swearing at people. She's making fun of people. And we have one here from Ghost Shell Zen. And it's, uh, this was on the 9th of February. After many years of mental trauma, I am finally coming out and accusing Marshy Mark of sexually assaulting me at a convention seven years ago. I was violated and it destroyed me for years. I will no longer be silenced. Hashtag believe victims. Hashtag kick Vic. I stand with Vic. Hashtag me too. And she has carried on with... With the help of my parents and closest friends, I've decided to press charges against Marshy Mark, and I will be citing in court. Funimation as well for protecting a child rapist since I was a minor at the time. So, obviously you had these uh, people come to Funimation and say, whatever Vic has done, blah blah blah. Okay, Funimation, they've come out and said, we've conducted an investigation, which that is just to save face. Funimation have spoken with their PR team, their lawyers, basically saying, how can we get rid of this guy because our other people are unhappy? And that's what they've done. They've spun it to say, oh yeah, we did an investigation, but you're not going to see the evidence. You never will. That's how businesses work. And obviously they've got rid of him. But with this one, with Go Shall Zen, say we don't know if it's a male or a female, and she has keep going on, obviously... There's one, two, three, four, five tweets from her. And obviously, you know, she has... She is actually on February the 10th, but I am finally opening up and would like for the healing process to begin. Before we see each other in court, I would like for at Marshy Mark, so she mentions her, so she did get it, to answer me why she sexually assaulted me seven years ago. Right. Vic got fired with immediate effect. Why is Marshy Mark still employed by Fenimation? If, you know, there was no evidence for Vic, all it was was hearsay and from people accusing her, accusing him, sorry. Vic got, he was taken away after the investigation, he was done. But you have a genuine person here, well, we can, we can only believe that the genuine at this moment in time. She has gone on Twitter and said that she is pressing charges against uh, Jamie Marshy, and she's actually asked her why she assaulted her. She hasn't got back to her, but Marshy Marsh, Marshy Marsh, what am I thinking? I think I'm Mark Wahlberg here. Yeah? But Jamie Marshy is still employed by Funimation. She's still getting paid by Funimation. And she is on Twitter screaming and shouting to the high nines, cursing at people who don't believe her. And this is not the way someone in her situation should be responding or acting. She should come off social media, you know, she shouldn't be back chatting these people, but she thinks because she's a woman, and because she is a, obviously, a victim at this moment in time, she is saying that she has the right to have a go at people. That's not how this goes. She needs to come off all social media, she needs to shut her mouth, she needs to go the correct route, which Vic has done himself. You know, he didn't do anything, he's just come out with a statement, and that was that. 
this is what she should be doing. But no, she's coming on Twitter, she's running her mouth, she's having a go at people who don't believe her. And it's like, well, no, actually, you shouldn't be doing that. you got someone accusing you of being a paedophile and because you touched them when they were a minor. You're that's basically classing you as a child rapist. You need to get, you know, it's, oh, it's just a hard thing to say. What you are doing is wrong. You need to just finish. Funimation, I say, I have asked, excuse me, I have asked Funimation for a question. And I am actually waiting on a reply. I doubt they will get back to me though. But I'll say, I'll just read out the question to you. Where is it? Here we are, right. Oh, that's not that one. Tweet and replies. I'm getting kind of a little bit lost here then. Right. Hi there. Have you suspended or fired a Marshy Mark? As you're more than, than likely to know, she's being accused, same as Vic was, as sexually assaulting someone. That someone was a minor at the time. They haven't got back to me. Obviously, that was only done a couple... Uh, that was only done about half hour ago. So I am going to be waiting on them, and I'm hoping they get back in touch with something. But... If nothing happens to Jamie Marshy, then there's something wrong. Because she is in the exact same boat as Vic. But if they keep her on, and they've gotten rid of Vic, then that's just completely wrong. It's, it's biased, and that will go to show that Funimation do, does not care about their male employees. And all they care about is their women. That is it. It's, you know, the way they've done this is absolutely disgusting. And Jamie Marshy, she should be ashamed of herself for going on Twitter and the way she is. So, anyway, that's all we've got time for. We say we will be keeping you up to date. Please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for further updates. Goodbye.